Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, and welcome to episode two of the Joe Passarelli Show here on YouTube. This vlog taking off. I want to thank everyone for the feedback on episode one yesterday. Greatly appreciate that. Now we're going to roll the dice here and get on to episode two and talk about the Bruins' uh, moves or lack thereof at the NHL trading deadline. Today being March 5th, Wednesday, March 5th, 2014. Uh, the NHL deadline, trade deadline was today at 3 p.m. And we did not really see a lot of activity from the Bruins. Well, I'll quickly run down the moves that did happen. Uh, two players that the Bruins were rumored in acquiring, they certainly dropped the ball on. One of them being forward Marion Gabrek, who ended up getting traded to the Los Angeles Kings. Certainly a team that's looking to get back into the championship picture uh, with the powers out west. We also saw Thomas Vanek get traded from the Islanders to the Montreal Canadiens, which certainly that's not good for business if you're a Bruins fan. Thomas Vanek going, helping out a Canadiens team, which really has been off your radar all year. Now they gain a top forward. You hope that doesn't enable them to gain more ground on the Bruins. Uh, the big, big trade today, folks, the big, big trade today was Martin St. Louis getting traded from the Tampa Bay Lightning to the New York Rangers for Ryan Callahan and possibly two, not one, but two first-round picks, one definite first-round pick and two first-round picks if the New York Rangers make the Eastern Conference Finals. I think this was a ludicrous trade from all avenues of it. A lot of people are saying the reason why this trade went down is because Martin St. Louis was unhappy with Steve Eisenman, who was the GM of the Canadian hockey team who won the gold medal, uh, omitted Martin St. Louis from the roster, and a lot of people feel like there was bad blood and butt hurt attributed to that situation. Whatever the case may be, Martin St. Louis is now a New York Ranger, and clearly the New York Rangers wanted Martin St. Louis. They gave up Ryan Callahan for him, who's certainly one of their top players, as well as two picks. I don't know, man. I feel like the Rangers are they're always they're always trying, but they're never quite getting the chemistry right. Where at the same time, when it comes to the Bruins, maybe I would have liked to see them trade a Ryan Spooter or trade a Riley Smith, one of these good young players we have to acquire a game changer, which would really vault us into one of the definites to make the Eastern Conference Finals and the NHL Stanley Cup Finals. But that didn't happen, Bruins fans. We did see former Bruins get traded as uh, former Bruins great Tim Thomas, uh, one day after he loses to the Bruins 4-1 four to one, four to one with the Florida Panthers, ends up getting traded to the Dallas Stars. Of course, uh, uh, Florida also just acquired Roberto Luongo from the Vancouver Canucks. Man, the Canucks are just a hot mess right now. They're completely falling apart. But the two moves that the Bruins did make, really underwhelming if you ask me. Uh, they acquired off of waivers Corey Potter. Corey, don't call me Harry Potter. He's a defenseman. We also traded for defenseman uh, Andre Mosaros. Uh, from the Philadelphia Flyers for a third round pick. Now hopefully these two bodies that can help our defense has been crippled by injuries uh, all season long. A lot of the young defensemen that, that that we do have are more offensive oriented. They can put the puck in the net, but they aren't exactly stalwart defensive pairings with Chara down there. I don't know if these moves put the Bruins over the top. I really don't. What's your opinions, folks? Like like this, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, Joe Passarelli. You want more insight on the NHL trade deadline and everything else that's going on in the world of sports, you want to tune in to rickradio.org Tuesday, uh, Thursdays, rather, 8 to 10 p.m. Your station, your sports talk, 90.7 WXIN, R-I-C, radio.org, with myself and the jazz man, the sample himself. I'm sure he'll have a lot of great takes on these hockey deals as well. But folks, what do you think? Are you happy with what the Bruins did? Do you wish the Bruins would have done more? Are you happy with what your team did? Do you wish your team did more? Like this. Subscribe, please. Joe Passarelli, live on YouTube. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time, live on the Joe Passarelli Show.